grace as he was going to give us. He says, for grace, for a little space, grace has been shown from the Lord our God. You're in prison because of your infidelity to me. But I'm going to give you grace. Because you can't pay me back for everything that you've done against me. Listen, I didn't know nothing about bills <laughs> when I was in college and in school. I didn't know nothing. I just spent money like it came out of the sky. But when I first got my first electric bill, and I was working in Rocky Mountain, the Edgewood Nash Middle Health Center, and I had my first light bill, and they told me we're going to cut it off by the third, and I didn't get paid until the 15th. Mm -hmm. I was talking to one of my co workers, and I said, Man, I don't know how I'm going to make it to cut my lights out. My wife is there. It's going to be bad, man. I don't know what to do. I had to go stay with my parents until the 15th. He said, well, have you called him? I said, no, they sent me this notice. He said, well, you know what, Braxton? He said, you got to, you got to call them. Mm -hmm. Tell them you can't pay right now. You can pay on the 15th. He said, and they'll give you what they call a grace period. period. Uh -huh. That was the sweetest thing that I had ever experienced in my life. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't pay God back. You can't pay God back. All that he's done for you. All he's done for you. He just gave you a grace period. He just gave you a grace period. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I'll give you a nail in, a, in his holy place. You know, that literally means he's going to plant you in a peaceful place. Some of y'all don't need an increase on your job. You just need a good old-fashioned season of peace. Because you can have all of you. I've been in the best seasons of my life and been miserable. But I didn't have peace. Lift your hands and say peace. Peace. I suffered from anxiety. One day I was praying and I said, Lord, the Bible say right here, you're the prince of peace. And if you my God and I know you are and you're the prince of peace, I ought to be able to have a little bit. You ought to be able to have a little bit of what you've had in life. He gave me peace. Lift your hands. God's going to give you peace in this season. Peace. If I just say peace. 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 He says, our God, that our God may lighten our eyes. You know what that means? He's going to brighten your day. Come on. Look at your neighbor and say, this about to be a brighter day for you. It's about to be a brighter day for you. Yes, that Lord. That he may give us. Here's the text. Thank you for staying. A little reminder. Watch this though. In our bondage. Sometimes God won't pull you out of it. Uh -huh. He'll give you an escape while you're in. And it's confusing to the devil because he's saying, I'm giving them all kind of hell. And they around here shouting and dancing and smiling and saying grace. Hebrew boys, God didn't snatch them out of the fire. Not like the Baptist preachers taught us, he didn't even take the heat out of the flame. No, he just made them fire proof. Yeah, right. He delivered them in the struggle. Tell your neighbor, say, God's going to give you your breath. God's going to give you your breath while you're in the struggle. While you're in the struggle. Yes. Yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You got a little ways to go before you get out of it. 2018, a few more days. For some of us, this has been a year of struggle. I've had so much stuff, unexpected stuff happen to me in 2018 that I don't even know what to do. Consequently, my wife went to the doctor today to get her six months checkup from her breast cancer, breast cancer situation. And they told her, they said, well, we'll see you in another six months because you're doing great. No cancer, no way.
Yes. The way you can be revived 